Victims of crime have suffered trauma, and going through the judicial process with court appearances can feel like it's happening again. That's why a group of women in Richmond has dedicated their careers to supporting them in court as the cases go forward. Our Cameron Thompson introduces us to them. Throughout the halls of Richmond's courts are a group of women whose job is to guide victims of crime through some of the roughest times of their lives. They're already traumatized. And just to have someone there as an advocate to support them is very helpful. Called Victim Witness Services, among what they do, help apply for assistance, keep track of court dates, and prepare them for what to expect. And I think that's um, a really important role that I think a lot of times is not necessarily seen by many people, right? Similar programs exist across Virginia, and Richmond's is now in its 31st year. We're here to help, and most of us have a compassion and an empathetic personality to help others. With each finding a different path to the job, like Tammy Jones, who lost first a cousin, then a goddaughter to violence. I always say this job, you know, called me, this job became my ministry. I didn't go looking for it. Each worker handles between three to 400 cases a year, and Director Sharon Saunders says they'd like to hire more if they had the funding. And along with supporting victims, they support each other, as facts of some cases can linger in their mind. It can be hard up there. Working with these people, they like my family. And their efforts haven't gone unnoticed, receiving Virginia Program of the Year honors in 2021. And following many cases, those they support can be seen and heard giving thanks, like the family of Sharnez and Nazaya Hill. After a guilty plea in their case, they were a mother and daughter killed at the Belt Atlantic Apartments last year. Our family could not have made it through this without the overwhelming support and prayers of the community and people all around. I mean, from the Commonwealth Attorney to the Victim Services, um, we could not have made it through this. And for those doing this job, while it can be tough some days, those moments mean a lot. We don't do it for the thank you. We do it because we want to help them, but it just gives you that kind of like peace that you know you're doing the right thing. That hug and that thank you, or even that random phone call six months or to a year after the trial has already happened, thanking you again, that sometimes is what keeps you here when you feel like you don't need to be here.